Hey folks, welcome to Taco Banzai, uh, Tornado Warning Edition. So we've got spirit storms moving through the area. I brought all my plants inside my apartment. Um, they fill my balcony much better than my apartment. So I've got virtually no space to room, uh, no room to move. Um, and of course, there were a couple of oops along the way, but I also want to get some trimming done. So the first oops was knock this guy out of his pot. Not a big deal. Nice, healthy plant. Just kept it wet. Um, not shocking either. Uh, one issue I'm running into is that although I've got all the soil that came out of the pot, I don't have any more soil because it is outside my car and I am not leaving this building. So I'm going to give these roots a little trim because you know there's lots of long ones and dead ones. Put it back in a pot and then do a little bit of trimming on some other stuff. Just grab my trash can. And I wish I did have more soil, but I do not. Um, and of course, I'm not trying to bare root this, but since the soil was good bonsai soil, that's kind of how it happens. Um, and some of these are just long, that's all. Now, ooh, it may be hard to see. If I'd left this bigger root here, I need better light. Let me get a better light real quick. I know I've got plenty. Now, this may be a little too bright, but we'll give it a shot. Shop lamp. Ooh, let's see how this works, huh? That's not the best, but maybe better than nothing. All right, let's see if we can, oh gosh, that's bright. All right, so I'd left this bigger root on here. I thought maybe I'd use it as a, <laughs> it's a spooky addition um, as a feature, but I don't think I want to do that. I think that's just an ugly root. So I'm at least going to try to cut it off a little more Not flush, but closer to flush. So that did take off quite a bit of that root base, but I've still got enough that will be fine. You can see it's nice and radio. I'm just going to trim it over the trash. Um, again, this is a tropical plant. It does okay. Let's come down there. I think that's it. I think that's all I really need to, or could, trim for that matter. So. Much more real. Didn't actually take that much off. Let's go right back in this pot. Now you can't see very well, but you will in a moment. I'm going to put it in front of you. <laughs> Makes it easier. It's an easy surface to clean, so I'm going to rely on that, of course. There's a little bit of sphagnum in here, but not a lot. I also want to straighten this up. I'd kind of uh, planted it at a funny angle last time. I do not want to continue to do that. I want to plant it at a very good angle. Now, for those of you who are concerned about me tying it in, me too. But we're not going to do it. We're just going to get it back in the soil. Um, I think it does have enough roots that I can put a rock on either side of this and it'll be okay. In fact, it's sitting quite nicely right now. And I want to get it a little bit lower than I did last time because it ended up pushing itself up a little bit. This had grown up the bottom. It was not sitting nicely. So I'm going to leave this here for a moment. Work. Eh, close enough. I'm gonna get a scoop. Or something close to a scoop. Ooh. This will be very hard to do if I am just dumping in there from this big container. So I'll scoop. See if there's some spag in there. That's fine. I'll leave it in there. It's not bad. Probably better than I deserve. Ooh, considering how I treated this poor thing. This poor ficus. This is my ficus uh, Bert Davii, South African ficus. Um, as you can see, it's been doing really well. It's got lots and lots of green on it. I cut it back pretty hard. I repotted it already, I think, two or three times this year because it's grown so vigorously. I was not going to repot it again. Um, but of course, everyone's met me and my clumsy self. I'd had to just knock it off the table once I brought it inside. No, well, this is where we're at now. I'm going to just get it back in the soil. You can probably see from the appearance of the roots that I've been keeping it pretty moist. And hopefully it'll grow even better this time. Now again, I want to straighten it up a little bit. I'm not going to do any topside trimming. I've got some actual figs around here, which is kind of cool. 
And I think I'd said in another video that they're edible, but I've not succeeded in eating any good ones. So I'm not going to try that. Not at all. But this is going in pretty nice. So I'm glad I still got a little bit of soil in there too. I'm glad I was able to uh, get this back into the same container real nicely. And again, I'm going to use rocks to weigh this down. So that way I'm not dealing with any kind of, you know, wobbiness. Although it's pretty solid right now. Broken off a root. That's okay. One more scoop on top here. Let me call it with this guy. I think that's going to do it. Oof. It's actually pretty solid, like I said. I do want to do my best to press in. And this isn't done with development. I'm trying to keep it small, but it's not done. Um, this is such a wild look. I don't know if I would ever do this in any other circumstance, but pretty bad weather outside, so I'm going to be inside doing this. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Back in this container. I'll water it through. It'll be much less upset with me than it was earlier. And um, I've got some that I want to trim. So this went through a bathtub watering. I filled the bathtub and I submerged it. Wait until the water stopped coming up. And I think that's a good water through. Of course, I'm not doing any repotting on this, so I'm not concerned with that. Um, but I do want to trim some off the top. It's very, very thick. In fact, I don't think I need all these bottom branches either. So this one here, inside of a curve, it's going to go. Um, and as much as I'd love to reduce it, I don't think this tree is reducing that far. Uh, this is a box elder, trash elder. Almost forgot about these. So Candace, I haven't reduced these. They're starting to get, you know, four or five on there, but these are pretty small. So I think I got lucky. You probably have different box elder because you're, of course, in a different growing zone, different part of the world. Um, and maybe because of the amount of time they have to grow, I'm not sure. But these leaves have reduced quite a bit. My biggest one, which I'll even show you, is the biggest piece of my compound leaf. So maybe two inches across. And, of course, there's other parts. So I can trim off, if it's a, you know, three, I, I actually tend to trim off two of them, leave the third every single one of these. Now I'm not going to do that right now, but then it just gives you one leaf about this size, which isn't bad. These, they're not great, I know, but it could be a lot worse. I trim off a yeah, new shoot starting right there. It's just in the middle of everything. Um, this one's growing up. I'm going to take the growing tip off of it. If I get it going a different way. Um, actually, I don't like that one at all, so I'm going to cut it off Pretty close to the end. It dies back, it dies back. Um, this one down here is really small. I'm gonna take that off. Um, this one's okay, it's not great. I'll leave it for now. Again, this one I'll leave those two ends right there. Over here, I've got three different branches growing from the same spot, and then one underneath here. So, underneath one is gonna come off, the little one to the side is gonna come off. And then, yeah, you can see how small these are. For a box elder, it's pretty good. Let's see. Back to take off this interior leaf. I think it's really interesting how with these, you can actually get like little teeny tiny, not fully developed leaves. Like this is, you know, the trilobed leaf right in the middle there. That dead stub here, I can knock off. You probably can't see it, but. Or without the turntable, that's outside, of course. Um, over here, I like this branch, but it needs to be redirected. So I'm going to take it off here, let it come out. Um, these two are doing okay. Already kind of doing their thing there. I don't want to take that off because it was a dead stub and just some leaves. I don't, I don't know that I need that, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. This is already split up here pretty nicely, but I'm not going to mess with it. This is supposed to be, actually, no, it's not supposed to be. I'm going to take this off down low here because this is going to be my apex. So that is a trash elder all trimmed up. I've got my lowest branch, second lowest branch. Um, this is another branch that's quite large, but not my apex is up here. 
I'm not concerned with that being larger. I'll just let it go the way it does. This is another side branch there, so getting there. And that is the trash holder all pruned up. Another one I wanted to work on was my hardy kiwi. It's getting all these low down shoots that I do not need, so they're going to come off. Of course not because oof, they're not good branches, but I don't need branches that low. The one started there. This one I left it's on the inside of a curve, though. So unfortunately, it's got to go. Um, now, I'm not getting a whole lot of longer extensions up here. I do have a lot of, you can see, heat damage. So all these dead leaves got to come off. Some of them are coming right off, and some of them aren't. Um, I am concerned that I might have pests in here. I don't think so. I think these are just heat damaged. I'm having a lot of severe heat. So anything that's got a brown tip on it, it's going to come off right now. So there's, of course, always new growth happening on this thing. And not just the brown leaves, but the brown tips as well. So make sure this thing is quite healthy. And if I were to do it again, I would pot it a different angle. But that's not quite on the horizon yet. I might take back this one. It's quite long. And I've got a new one coming out there. I'll take that one back. This one, too. It's quite long. Mm. I'm not seeing any... Um, this, this is where it ended. It's not that long, I suppose. Oh, it does have new growth here, so I'll take it back to there, and we'll see what happens. Again, this is not some sort of cascade. I'm going to end up straightening it up, leaving it like that. In that case, I've got this up here, which is just a little bit meh. So I'd cut it off. I have three coming out here. It's technically one this way, up more, one that way, up more, one straight up. I don't think I want that though. I think I'm going to take off the center one and leave just the sides. Leaf here that's a little toasty, toasted leaf. So you can see here I got these two. I'm going to take them back to the outward facing buds. This one's lower down. I don't like the it's coming up per se, but it's not bad. I will take this. Just take the growing tip off of it. And I think that's all I can really do. Everything else is kind of close in. So now we're looking at a much different shaped tree. Two doesn't need to be there. Um, again, very early in development, so. Changes that changes. I could always make it into a cascade. I've got a great cascade pot. I like to paint, but it's a great cascade pot. This one, though, doing so well as it is, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to repile it anytime soon. Super easy. Trimming that I wanted to do was my basil forest. Um, it's just got some dead trunks in here. So I'll trim these out um, in the attempt to make things smaller. Sometimes they just don't make it. So that's what happened here. Now, many of them did, which is good. Nothing on the outside. So since I can take out these dead ones, I've still got pretty decent little forest in here. Um, this is an herb. It's not the best herb for bonsai, but I'm really pleased that it's growing. So Basil forest can leave that. I don't know how old this is. Um, I bought it and thought, why not? Let's just keep it going. But so far, very happy, very fragrant. I like that smell. Another one is my, whew, I don't know what I call this one. I think I call it a Buddha or Sumo style. I can't remember which one it is. Buddha or Sumo um, style ficus ginseng. So I'd gotten a couple of roots over here and just left them because I didn't want to mess with them too much. But now I've got some extensions that I do want to work on. This one's coming up way too far. This one's going every different direction. So if I'm going to look at it with you, this one being my biggest concern, I'm going to take it off. 
right here. Um, because I would like to get these, again, just getting an extreme amount of taper. I've got a lower branch here I could also take it back to. Um, it's only got the one branch, and I don't want to mess with that. I've already trimmed this back once here. There's a head stub here. Um, I suppose I should take it back one more leaf, and we'll see what happens. Now, it's not all the way back. There's another leaf below that, so we'll see. Um, another one that's really long is this one right here. On that same branch, it's got three coming from the same place. Now, this is coming across and over. I trimmed it back last time. And it really is the only one filling in over there, so I will try to keep it. I'm going to cut it back to downward facing branch. This one in the middle is new, but I like it. Really, I don't need this one over here. So what I'll do is I will cut this one back as far as I can. We'll see if that one survives. And I'll leave this one to grow and see if it grows nicely. Um, down below here, this is not a new branch. This is growing off the back of another one. I'm going to leave that. That looks good. Right over here. Let's see. I said this? No. Just got, this is a new branch. This is one coming off there, but it's two from the same place. That's okay. Scooting over, cut this one back, it's doing good. I will just take it back a little bit to one kind of going down and out. This one again, let's take it back. It's not very strong growth though, so I'll leave it alone. I'm not gonna mess with that. Front here, I cut back this branch. And Partially coming back over towards this one, which is okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll get it going back down again and out. And then the rest of this, I think, is grafted material. I'm not sure. No, this is the graft up here. All right, that's virtually all I could, should, can do to this. It doesn't look like I've done a lot of trimming. I just took back some of those longer shoots that I was concerned about. Um, again, where the growth isn't strong, I'm not going to cut it back. I'm just going to let it grow. I would like to not kill this one with my abrupt, um, hostile pruning and repotting. So I'm going to leave this alone. It's been watered nicely through. I don't think I've got any roots in the bottom. No, nothing coming out the bottom yet, so it's going to be happy in this pot for a while. Let's see. This is another one that I wanted to just prune back a little bit. This is my Ficus triangularis veridicata. It had, uh been put in this root growing pot, this pond basket, whatever you want to call it, a while back. It's been doing really well. Um, true form, it's dropped a leaf here and there. Uh, it has some white leaves, which aren't helping it grow at all, but very, very strong growth. I mean, this is some, that's some serious extension in only a couple weeks. So I'm going to address some of that. Um, it's kind of hard to see structure. So that's a tough one for me to get in here and say, okay, it's this way, that way. All I'm going to do is take back longer shoots to a couple of leaves. So there's one. Mm. This one's really long as well. It has already started to bifurcate, but really far out there. I'm going to take it farther in. And of course, the bifurcation is going up. Everything's going up. Get back here. This has a branch on it, but there's already still a branch right here. It's coming up, but that's okay. Um, I'm quite lucky it'll die back a little bit and branch out a little more in the other direction. This one's kind of long, so I will take it back as well. Over on this side, this is definitely my longest one, so I'm going to take it back. Um, Two, a few leaf sets here. We'll go right here. This one as well, super, super long. And it has also started to bifurcate for new branches. So I'll take it back to the biggest branch I see, which is this one. And oh, there's another one behind there. So let's try back even further. Let's 
coming way out. Cut it back a little bit. This one coming down below here. I'm not even sure where this is coming from. Right, so it's coming from the bottom of this branch. I don't mind that. Except that it's not really it's supposed to be a weeping plant, so I'll take some of that off. There's a lot going on in here still. Um, but I think that was my strongest growth. I think I'm most of my strongest growth out of here. Now, this is growing from down below. Don't think I want that. I'll take that out. This has, you can see, pure white leaves on it. And then again, looking under here, let's see. This one comes off to the side. I think it's too close into the trunk, so it's going to come off. This one does come down too much, so it's going to come off. No reason to have that there. Um, don't see those over here, but not concerned with them. This one has this really strong growth coming up, but I want it to come out more than up. So I'm going to take off these vertical branches here. That's a little closer to what I was imagining. Oh, I've got a branch coming towards you. A leaf tip here, and then one that's already branched out this way. So that's good. It's cleaned up this whole area here. Um, some more branches just in the center of this crotch here, which you may not be able to see me working on. But, you know, mostly white leaves, not very strong growth. So cleaned up this crotch here. Not sure if you can see well. And here I've got a lot of branches. So I don't think I want this vertical growth here. It looks new. It's going to come off. Again, I'm not looking for pads per se, so much as just good formation. Um, this one's down below again. Down below, I just don't get any bifurcation out of that branch. It's just going to be a very simple branch for a while. And up here, it's probably easier to see from this side, but I've got three now coming from this point. This one is definitely not very strong. This one isn't very strong either. I'm just going to take it off. And I've got three coming from the same point again, basically. I do like that this one comes that way. It's really the back, but I like that it comes that way. This one, I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to take it off. I know I'm being very brutal with this one. This one I'm not as concerned about. Concerned, but not as concerned. And then this is just weak. You know, there's not going to be anything coming from that. There's no color to it. I think the rest of this is okay. I will tip off of this. Yeah, so my leaf is coming towards you all. I think that's a better looking tree. I don't need these on here, so I'm going to put them onto my. South African ficus, if they'll fit, to keep it in place for a while. So that is my ficus triangularis. Just to trim up, of course, it's got roots that are growing very, very strong. Be watered nicely. It's not dried out too much. A happy little tree, I think. Leave that alone. And the last one that I want to prune up. It's there. And yes, I'll wipe down my counter for this. Those of you who start off with me, remember I used to always make my videos here. Uh, the last one is my Hukin tea. I'm kind of happy what it looks like when I look at it in the camera here, um, but I'm not sure I like it in every context. So instead of being super, super brutal, because I really like this branch here, I'm just going to take the tip off of it. Back to where it's lignified and start to harden off and become regular wood. Um, a lot of these... Leaves will eventually drop, and I'll get different leaves out of it. That's good. This one's almost coming from the inside of a curve. But I like the way it fills in over here. So again, I'm going to take this back. Not all the way. I'm going to leave quite a bit of leaf sets on here. And just trim it back a little more in profile. And I'm getting a little bit more of that start to the triangle here. This was always my apex, so I'm going to leave it. I've got some flowers starting here, so I don't want to mess with those. Got some growth 
back under here and up top here. Now, I don't want to trim this back too hard. In fact, it looks kind of good right now, except this branch is too low. Oh, and I got some new growth. So I'm going to take off that new growth here. Run underneath. Doesn't need to be there. Don't want it there. I've got to think as to whether or not I want to. No, this is just too low. It's got to come off. Even though the sacrificial branch would be too low. So I'm not as upset as I thought I would be about this. Take a tip off here. And I've got some different colored stem, so I can take it back at least to that. I'm not trying to take too much out of this. I want to keep a lot of vigor. I need to make sure that it's not getting out of control. So I got this one in here. It's just growing in. And as much as I would love to have it fill in there, it's not a good place for it. This one's growing underneath here. Don't want that either. This one's also growing underneath. Not sure. Take it out. I don't think it takes away too much. This is going to get a swell here if I leave that. It's the only thing. I have to decide between this one, as you can see, and this one. I don't really have anything else back over here. So I think I've got to make the call. Take that off. That doesn't look too bad. All right, this one's a little bit tall. I'm going to take it back just to where it's signified. And I don't have as many left now that aren't, you know, they're growing nicely, not super long. This is a completely new shoot. Where is it coming from? I'll just cut it back. We'll see what happens. This is barely grown up here, which is strange, but whatever, right? Take a little shoot up here. Take off a little bit of stubbing here. All right. I think it's looking better. And of course, some of these have already started to branch out. Not only have they lived inside, but they've started to branch out. I think that this is what I'd originally chosen as the front. I'm not sure. Looks pretty good from right there, I think. Because you do have a leader kind of coming towards you here. And I've got some more coming up here. I'm not sure if I need that. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it. I think that's all I could possibly do without causing... Too much. Oh, I got one more trim. Too much uh, damage at this point. Okay. Here is my. Ooh. Einstein Cleter, I think, was this one? I think so. This is either the Einstein Cleter or something similar. I'll move this up a little bit. Yep. Not bad. All right. So I got my flower over here. You can barely see it's It's done blooming, so that can come off. And that whole shoot, I want to take back. So I'm going to take it back to this branch right here and hope that it doesn't die back on me. See, that was the flower. They're starting to die off, so that's good. Now, that does interfere with this one here. But I don't have any lower branching on that. So on this one, I will take it back a little bit to right here. Just to give it a little bit of room to grow. See if I can get some back bugging in there. Um, this thing grows really nicely. I'm really pleased with it so far. I'm not sure there's much else I can take off. It's very vigorous up here, of course, in the uh, apex. So I'll take this one back. This one back to here. This one back as well. one tip off and this one here I will take tip off it has already started to branch out as well yeah, this one will cut back a little bit as well it's not quite what I wanted to do here so there we go 
This one's very, very long as well. It's kind of taking over, so I'll cut it back to one outward facing, but those aren't real branches, so this is my outward facing branch. All right. This is a tree I didn't expect to do so well. Tree, bush, whatever you want to call it, the shrub. Um, but really, I've been kind of pleased with it. I think it looks really nice. Oops. Now you can almost, yeah, there, now you can actually see it. So for being a little shrub, it's shaping nicely. I still love the trunk. Um, it's definitely not a perfect of any style, and I'll probably have to reduce it more. I think this branch here will be cut back to this one. I should probably do it now instead of waiting. Yeah, I should do it now. I don't have to wait. I can just do the right thing, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. So that was a big branch. But it did, you know, too much over here. This is growing nicely as it is. So I will just let that grow. Um... Yeah, that helps a lot with my taper. A lot better taper there. If there was a stub here, I'm going to cut that back. Much better. Hold on. Go underneath there. Don't want that. All right. Now I'm not sure I want this one. I'm kind of growing up the center. This is my apex. Where is it? Hmm. Neither of them taper very much. I'm going to leave it for now. But this one being a little bit wimpy, I'm just glad I cut these back so now they can start to, well, do a little bit more. I'll just stub here, take that off. So, yeah. So we'll hopefully get, and you can see where I've cut some off and they've already started to branch out here. In fact, I will take off these old leaves. There's more room for those. Kind of taking off these old leaves. You can see where the branching has already started to do nicely. They're not super old leaves. They're not super old shoots, but that is just fine by me. I'm looking to develop this slowly and do it the right way. So if it grows a little slower, I'm cutting this all off. That is fine. That is good. I'd much rather that than, oh, this one's just growing right there in that crotch, too far down. Yeah. Another stub here. This grows really nice. I'll say that. It grows really, really nice. I think that's all the branches I'd previously cut back. I need a stub taken off. Maybe not, but I think so. Everything else has some pretty normal looking growth. Yeah. All right. I'll stop messing with it. I really like it. I think it's, oh, you. It's going underneath. Do not want that. In fact, I probably don't want this either, but I'll leave it for now. It kind of fills in there. Again, see, this is the thing you can't look at these for too long, you just eventually get lost in them. There's so much that always comes out of here, especially with vigorous plants. You're always like, Oh no, not another one! Oh no, not another one! Things grow so fast. All right, closer, closer to walking away from this. No, I'm not even sure I want this one. I got rid of that. You what? I'll take this off the bottom part here. Let the top grow. No, this just got to come off. It's a bad place. Where is it? Yeah, it's kind of growing from underneath. Don't want that. This one will take back over here. This one will take over this. It'll give me some really excellent taper. Be good. Um, 
This is a good branch. I mean, it's not a bad branch. There's lots and lots of leaves on here. It's hard to see with the background. There's lots and lots of leaves. It's very full. This one, I hope to get growth down low. I don't really want to hard prune it because I think it'll die back. This thing doesn't like hard pruning, I don't think. My um, Sweet Spire hates hard pruning. So I think that's really all I can do you know, without risking absolute cataclysm. Yeah. All right. So I hope everyone's taking care of themselves. If you are in Northern Virginia, Maryland, you know, the D.C. metropolitan area and some more, I hope you're safe. Um, it looks like it's cleared up on my end, which either means that there's a tornado about to start, um, but I don't see a funnel cloud yet, or it's over. Um, so I've got another job ahead of me getting all these plants right back outside. Y'all take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Keep it polite if you could. If it's not polite, it probably won't even show up, which is good because I filtered those all out. And uh, sorry for the quality of this video. It's kind of weird, kind of spooky with the whole weird light thing. And I know my audio is always bad. So as, uh, uh, as some would say, tough noogies. <laughs> I'm not sure my audio will ever get any better. I am using a mic. I am in a good, quiet environment. But uh, I'm not sure my audio will ever get any better than it is right now. So thanks all for joining me. See you on the next one.